I think it reveals a much broader tension between the um, centralization of the response to the coronavirus outbreak and and the, um, and the local level activities. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Thank you. Sorry. Yes, and so it really shows this tension between the centralised response to uh, to the outbreak by the government and the the real need to engage with local authorities and local government much sooner in the response, and I, and why it hasn't been much more of a fruitful relationship between these two levels of governance. But I think it's also there's been a very different approach between there's a very, very, very different disaggregated level of who's creating what data. So you've got to remember that the NHS is collecting some data. We've got Public Health England collecting other data. We've got government collecting other data and through the ONS. So there's just multiple strands of data. And perhaps it's not more not thoroughly being collated between different bodies so that the full picture can be given to local authorities. Yes, yeah, so that's exactly, so we're hoping so, and it's a learning process. So now we're moving to this new approach of of these, um, you know, lock, local lockdowns. It's part of the learning process to really understand how this is happening. Now, quite honestly, this should have happened a long time ago, in my opinion. But here we are in this situation, and so you know, how can we improve it for? the inevitable lockdowns which might come further down the road. We've looked, seen the statistics today saying the other hotspots of concern might be in, in Barnsley and Bradford. And so how can we make sure that they're getting the right data now so we don't have this problem again? She's called Scarlett. <laughs> No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank what's you. his name? I'm just telling you what's his name. His name's Christian. Christian. I'm just deciding where we can go and where Mummy wants it to go. Mummy, where do you want the picture? I think just on that shelf is great. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Of course, 